Our thirteenth question, in which of the following situations given below is the sense of smell, taste and touch and sight are used at the same time? So, all the senses are used, okay? Now, thirteenth question, in which of the following situations in which of the following in which of the following situations given below situations Given below, given below is the sense is the sense of Smell, taste, touch, and sight. And sight used at the same time used at the same time same time that's what we are going to look at and their option is a a blind person moving around a blind person moving, moving around. Option B, a woman making and baking cookies, a woman. Making and baking, making and baking, cookies, see. A girl using using the telephone option D a man doing repair a man doing Repairs, man doing repair on his bicycle, on his bicycle. So there are four situations given and we are supposed to find out from here in which of the following situations given below is the sense of smell, taste and touch and sight are used at the same time. Alright, now we have a blind person, uh, sight is not there because he cannot see a girl using the telephone, we cannot see any, uh, she cannot taste or smell here, but doing repairs, only sight is there. So option B, 
option b a woman baking and baking cookies when you are making baking cookies sense of smell is there she has to taste she has to touch sight all these four are involved in that good the next one let's look at our 14th question all right our 14th question is what system is in charge of the senses what system what system is in charge is in charge of the senses and your options are a skeletal system the skeletal skeletal system b nervous system nervous system c the circulatory system we have three systems here okay now let's look at them all what system is in charge of the senses the skeletal system the nervous system the circulatory system which is the correct answer our answer is the nervous system is in charge of the senses question number 15 what provides information to our brain about external conditions what provides what provides what provides information what provides information to your brain to your brain about external conditions about external about external conditions and your options are a option a heart option b nerve receptors nerve receptors nerve receptors option c blood vessels and option d bones the four options to choose from and our question is who provides information to your brain about external conditions and what is the answer not bones 
not blood vessels, not heart. Option B, nerve receptors are the ones who gives information to the brain about the external condition. Next, a 16th question. Which organ of our body belongs to both respiratory and excretory system? Which organ of our body? Which organ of our body Which organ of our body belongs to belongs to both the both the respiratory both the respiratory and excretory system and the excretory and our options are Option A, skin. Option B, kidneys. Option C, intestine. And option D, lungs. Okay, let's look at the question. Which organ of our body belongs to both respiratory and excretory? So, the, the organ that belongs to both excretory and respiratory. Which is that organ? The answer is lungs. Option D are lungs. Lungs belong to both respiratory and excretory system. The 17th question. Let's look at our 17th question. Which one of the following activities is done by muscles? Which one of the following? Which one of the following Activities, which one of the following activities is done, is done by muscles, and our options are A, walking, Option B, laughing. Option C, washing. And option D, all of this. The question is, which one of the following actions is done by muscles? Now, walking. Walking is done by muscles. Laughing. Yes, muscles are involved. Washing. Yes, muscles are involved. Option D, all of this. So, whether it is a washing, laughing and uh, walking, all these are involved. Alright? Now, let's look at our uh, 18th question. The bones, how many
many bones are present in the human body? How many? How many bones? How many bones are present? How many bones are present in the human body? In the human body? Option A. 200 option b 150 option c 206 and option d 106 all right now let's look at the question how many bones are present in the human body certainly we have 206 option c is correct let's look at all our Questions now. In which of the following situations given below is the sense of smell, taste, touch, and sight used at the same time? Option B A woman making and baking and cookies. She's making and baking cookies. So, sense of smell, her taste, touch, sight, everything is involved here. What system is in charge of the senses? The nervous system is in charge of the senses. What provides information to your brain about external conditions? Nerve receptors provide information to the brain about the external conditions. Which organ of our body belongs to both? Respiratory and excretory system. Lungs belongs to both the respiratory and excretory system. Which one of the following activities is done by muscles? All of these, walking, laughing, washing, all activities, muscles are involved. How many bones are present in the human body? 206 bones are present in the human body. 